back to my channel i hope you're doing well if you're new here my name is simbi i'm a fashion blogger and i run a blog called simbifabgirl.com so today's video is a type of a fun um, video okay i'm going to be showing you how to style a print a pattern and this dress is actually a dress i got a while back from zara okay so definitely going to be seeing more of the dress in the video okay so do not forget to thumbs up my video please subscribe to my channel and all also follow me on instagram at simifabgirl okay so without further ado let's up on the video all right before we go into the styling i would like to just quickly show you what the dress looks like it looks like a blouse it looks like a dress but whatever whichever one it is um I love the print, I love the color, I love the fact that it's a shift um, dress and the sleeve OMG is to die for. I love, love, love blown sleeves. I love the refill, um, the ruffle detailing also. You know, it, um, everything on the dress just seems, everything on the dress seems perfect. It's a Zara um, piece and yeah, I love it. All right, so the first look is uh, more like a monochrome with a pop of print. Um, it's just, you know, I love the way the black um, turtleneck pops f f both on the sleeve and on the neckline. All right, this look should be perfect for a day, you know, in a town. so this next look i want to call it like um effortlessly chic okay it's similar to the first one but the difference is that i'm wearing this zara shirt okay with a collar under the dress and of course i'm pairing it with a white sneakers you know it's so chic and effortless on a day where you just want to you know you may probably you you're going shopping and you're going to be you know you do not want to wear heels and all that so this is so comfortable and make a lot of statement. So for this look, I would like to call it, you know, vibrant and formal. If you're someone that can wear a mini dress to work, you do not have to wear a pop socks, you know, under the dress. But this is more formal. And yeah, it's definitely, you can definitely style it to work in this way. adding um, you know your sunglasses just in case you you just want to style it to somewhere else so you can you know dress it up with a nice sunglasses so you can it doesn't have to be you know style to only work you can also wear you know to different other occasions <laughs> Okay, so for this look, you know, there's no way we are going to be restyling this dress without having to add a denim, you know, to it. Okay, if you consider yourself a petite person, I would advise you go with a, a high-waisted um, um, denim pants because if you wear a low-rise pant like this, it may make you look, you know, extremely shorter than your shorter than your, you know, normal height. So this is just. I'm going out on a brunch, going with my friends. I just want to, you know, you look laid back and all that. So I'm dressing it up again, you know, for it's just a perfect, you know, 
look for just a day your a casual day out outside. Alright, so for this look, um, I styled it for a purpose like um, maybe a date night, you know, I'm wearing a leather pants and a four strappy sandal, okay, so just to dress it up. So, you know, the blown sleeve, the print, the ruffleness on the dress just gives it, you know, the right amount of drama, which is perfect for a date night, saying that, yes, I'm, uh, you know, I'm effortless yet stylish. I love the style. I love this particular look. Okay, so for this look is you know saying that i'm a print queen i love print and i'm going to wear print on print so this is a um, striped um print pants and i'm you know pairing it with this dress i'm tucking it inside so that the detail of the eye-waisted um trouser can show it's just you know a bit dramatic but the fact that the stripes on the pants are not so obvious it still makes it look laid back I really love it okay so i'm pairing it with a nude sandal you do not have to wear socks with it if you do not want to all right so okay so there's no way i'm going to be styling this dress without the belted version so i'm wearing it with um, you know the belt just makes the right amount of statement i'm wearing it with some slides you can wear it with some heels if you want but if you do not want the shortness of the dress to be obvious you can just you know use some slides this is just you know out my friends <laughs> you know I'm obsessed with denim jacket. Um, this is like I'm recreating the red look I created in my how to style a denim jacket. Please check that video out. So this is like the printed dress version. And of course I changed um, for some slides also. Okay. For a you know, comfy day. And styling it up again with some hearts. Alright. So... <laughs> Right, so for this look i want to call it edgy you know this is when you just really want to make a statement so i'm wearing it with this culotte it's an ankle culotte so it's much longer than a regular culotte i got also from zara okay this is just to make it you know it makes a lot of statements it's um i love the wideness of the pants okay so this is just a look of um i have um a function um presenting or i i just really want to make a statement you know you, of course you do not have to pair it with the socks also okay so you can always ignore that all right For this look is more like a tomboy like i'm a tomboy but i just want to be a little bit you know girly okay i decided to add this to the you know styles because i recently got a, co uh, a comment from someone that says oh i'm a tomboy any any style ideas i'm like okay i got you all right in my upcoming video i'm going to you know 
put one of them you know the styles to be for a tom a tomboy all right so yeah <laughs> tell i'm obsessed i'm obsessed with this dress the print the sleeve all right that'll be the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it thank you for sticking with me till the end um do not forget to thumbs up my video please subscribe to my channel and also follow me on all social media platforms at cbfab girl all right so so and please leave your thoughts in the comment section let me know which one was your favorite look all right so i'll see you in my next one bye